when it'll be after communion.
Good afternoon and welcome to St. Augustine's. Can I ask you to please stand and join in our opening hymn, O Lord my God. and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our celebration. As we gather today, we gather as a community of faith, we gather as family and friends to celebrate the life and to give thanks to God for the gift of 
Dr. Cass Kasongo as we return to God now, the gift that he has given the world. We gather with his uh, wife, uh, Regina, with his daughters, Stella and Meta and Jocelyn, with his extended family and uh, those who worked with him and cared for him and loved him, and this community of faith. We welcome Father Brendan, who has been a long-time uh, acquaintance and uh, friend of the family, uh, who was the administrator here of the cathedral for uh, almost 30 years before I arrived. So, Father Brendan, it is good to have you with us. As we begin our celebration, I want you to take a moment just to be mindful of your relationship with Dr. Cass, whether as a friend or as a professional colleague, uh, as a family member. And I want you to call to mind for a moment one of your interactions, just a little anecdote, uh, a moment when uh, that you remember him with fondness and with love. Maybe it was a joke that you shared, maybe it was a word of encouragement, maybe it was a phone call, maybe it was uh, a word of wisdom that he shared with you. Just to call to mind the man that we celebrate today as we give thanks to God for the gift of his life. For these gifts, we give thanks. As we prepare to enter into this celebration, we take a moment to be mindful of God's love for us and to ask God's forgiveness for the times we've turned away from that love. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you reveal to us the fullness of God's love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and lead us with our sins forgiven to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Dr. Cass, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. You may be seated now as we prepare to listen to God's Word. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The virtuous man, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honorable. And number of years does not give the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's gray hairs, untarnished life that is ripe old age. Having come to perfection so soon, he has lived long, his soul been pleasing to the Lord. He has turned away from the wickedness around him. Yet people look on, un uncomprehending, and it does not enter their heads that grace and mercy await his chosen ones and that he intervenes on behalf of the holy ones. The word of the Lord. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd 
with me, O oh God. God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If they were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks to God for the gift of Dr. Cass Kasongo's life. As we do so, we gather with his wife, Regina, who shared 32 years of marriage with Cass, his daughters, Stella, Meta, and Jocelyn, and with the extended Kasongo family and Dr. Cass's many friends and colleagues. I didn't know Cass that well, so I asked Stella to share something of her dad's life so that I might be able to get a better picture of who he was. She wrote, My dad was born in the DRC on the 1st of March 1957. There's actually an error on the front of the program. He was born in 57, not 53. The eldest of 13 children, he really played his role of firstborn very well. He loved his family and being surrounded by friends and family was what was most important to him. He was known for his spontaneity. For example, he would wake up in the morning and decide to drive down to Jeffreys Bay for the day. He was also known for his sense of humor. All who know him will be very familiar with his many jokes. He was a very generous man. Stella says, I've yet to meet a person my dad has not helped in one way or another. And of course, he had a great zest for life. He was the ultimate professional when it came to his work and was also the life and soul of the party when it came time to relax. He was gentle, soft-spoken, wise, and incredibly knowledgeable. His passing has left an enormous void not only in our family, but also in the community at large. He is and will be greatly missed. That's what Stella shared with me. The death of a young man like Dr. Kasongo, who had so much to offer, leaves us all questioning why. Why does a good man in the prime of his life have to die so young? Why is a wife deprived of growing old with her husband, the man she loves? Daughters deprived of the comfort and wisdom of their dad as they themselves come to maturity. Why is the medical profession and the community at large deprived of a man that still had so much to offer? Why? There are many why questions. Death raises a lot of questions, but doesn't give us any answers. It leaves us with our feelings of loss, our grief, and our pain, 
and leaves us to grapple with the fragility and the vulnerability of life. On the one hand, we seem so strong and at times invincible, and on the other, vulnerable with the knowledge that life, that precious gift, can so easily slip away. And so all we can do is live the best life that we can, to grow into the people we're meant to be. It seems to me that Dr. Cass did just that. In his gentle, kind way, he cared for people. He put others before himself. He made sure that his family was well cared for. And he became an accomplished chemical pathologist, where his work has brought enormous benefit to the sick and the wider community. Today, of course, we're faced with the reality of Cass's death. It's hard to imagine that someone who has been such an integral part of our lives will no longer physically be with us. But death is not the end of the story. While Cass may not have been a regular here at St. Augustine's, his life and his faith sh certainly show that he believed in the God of love. That's why we're here today, because in some way, at one level or another, we share in his faith. We believe in the God of love who entered into the fullness of our human condition in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus experienced our joys and our pain, our delights and our grief, our happiness and our sufferings. He entered fully into our human condition embracing the cross and death itself. But death didn't have the final say. Through God's great love, Jesus was raised to new life, to eternal life. In his resurrection, the chains of death are cast off, and new life is offered to all. This is the kernel of our faith. As we give our lives to Jesus in baptism and in our day-to-day -day lives, so we will rise with him into the fullness of life. Paul, in his letter to the Thessalonians, reminds us of this when he writes, We want you to be quite certain, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve for them as others do, who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that in the same way God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep, in Jesus. Dr. Cass knew this in the depths of his being, and there is no doubt in my mind that he now shares eternal life with him. So today, as we gather to celebrate Cass's life, let us take comfort from one another. Let us grieve together, because grieve we must. Someone who was such an integral part of our lives is no longer physically with us. We will no longer hear Cass's wit, wit except in our memory and when we recall a joke that he shared. Or we won't be able to draw on his wisdom in a difficult moment or jump in the car with him on one of his spontaneous trips. But that doesn't mean the end. Death doesn't have the final say. I know that Cass would want his family and all who knew him to stand strong, to believe that the full picture will soon unfold, to know that there is more, to embrace life even as we go on without him. I want to end with a short poem from Henry van Dyck, the 19th century author, poet, and clergyman. Writing about death, he wrote, I'm standing upon the seashore, a ship at my side spreads her white sails to the moving breeze and starts for the blue ocean. She is an object of beauty and strength. I stand and watch her until at length she hangs like a speck of white cloud just where the sea and sky come to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there, she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight, that is all. She is just as large in mast, hull, and spar as she was when she left my side. 
and she is just as able to bear her load of living freight to her destined port. Her diminished size is in me, not in her. And just at the moment when someone says, there, she is gone, there are other eyes watching her coming and other voices ready to take up the glad shout, here she comes. Today we give thanks to God for the gift of Cass, and we know that he's welcome now into the heavenly banquet to share with his ancestors of old who have gone before him and to enjoy the eternal life that God offers him. Rest in peace, Cass. Rest in peace. Together now, let us stand as we pray for Dr. Cass, for his family, and for all who knew him. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Dr. Kaz seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. <laughs> Lord, graciously hear us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our son, Dr. Kaz. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We take a moment in silence to pray for our own particular intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom, 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated now as we prepare the altar for the Eucharist. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through the acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, up, look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the in an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Augustine and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Cass, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory whom, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven up above. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Without touching each other, let, let us acknowledge each other with a sign of our greeting of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Eternal life. Amen. For the distribution of communion, sorry, for the distribution of communion, can uh, we just come forward one row at a time and please maintain social distancing? Thank you.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body and blood, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Cass may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. You may be seated for a moment. 
Before our final commendation and farewell, I'd like to invite Regina to come forward to say a few words, and then someone is going to give instructions with regard to the um, graveyard. So if Regina can come forward. Dear friend and family gathered today, I thank you for being here. I'll address Cass, who has chosen a new address. Dear Cass, Today being the end of our 30 years together, I thank you for who you were. A wonderful husband, a caring father, a social being to all. Over the years, you have taught me in your calm way to enjoy life. Cass, again in front of the world, as we did then, I reiterate my love for you and will always cherish the good memory we had together. My friend, my counselor, My travel companion, I will miss you dearly. You were great and a humble man. Mama Germain, Stella, Jocelyn, Mita, and the family at large. I will always be here for you. To all carabins scattered around the world, and all other doctors, I thank you for your love and support up to the last minute. As one of you said, I quote, we lost a friend that we'll never see, but we gathered information, we get more knowledges, and we will continue our research to advance medicine, enhance better humanity. Please, carry on his legacy. To the big, close friends, you have beautifully organized cast send-off over these few days. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To all those gathered here and around the world, I thank you and request to keep a moment of silence as you remember one of his jokes. It is on this jovial note that I will you to remember Cass, a warrior who stood for service above self. Cass, I salute you. 
May you rest in peace till we meet again. I love you. My relationship with the Kasonga family goes back many, many years. I welcomed the late Dr. Kaz and Regina and their family here to the cathedral many, many years ago. And the girls grew up in front of me. I celebrated their baptism, their first communion, their confirmation. So today it's a sad day but it's a day of great peace because the Lord is with us. We are not alone. The Lord of resurrection is with us. Our Easter candle burns before us to remind us that the Lord is risen and Dr. Kaz has gone to join the risen Lord in our Father's eternal kingdom. I personally would like to give my deep sympathy to Regina and the girls and all who mourn Dr. Kaz today. And in the years ahead, may his name be a blessing among the people of Port Elizabeth. He was dearly loved, and he gave a great contribution to the people of Port Elizabeth. So may he indeed be blessed, and may his name be held with great love and honor, and may his name be a blessing to all of us, and may he rest in peace. Thank you. Um, I'm just standing in front of you to give you a few announcements. Um, we will continue to observe um, health protocols um, so that we protect each other and we are able to go and put our friend, our brother, our father um, to rest in his final place. Uh, those that are proceeding to go to the cemetery would have been informed by SMS. So if you have received an SMS that you are proceeding to the cemetery, then you will proceed to the cemetery. If you have not received an SMS, it is because you are, we are the family and all the other people, it's not because they don't want you to be there, but the numbers are what is limiting us. Those that will not be going, which means that you have not received an SMS, you, can you join us um, uh, in getting uh, some, um, some food? We have prepared, there are food parcels that are prepared outside. You have just to pick yours. There are about 50 of them that are outside. Please, uh, can, you pre can you pick your, your, your food parcel and you will share with family at home and your friends at home. For those that are proceeding to go to the cemetery, the family invites you to join them for lunch um, and for memos, um, for time of uh, reflection at, uh, at, their, at their residence. You will know that you are proceeding to, that, to the residence if you have been informed by SMS. Please may we respect that and may we continue to observe these uh, protocols because it is important for the difficult times that we have. I thank you and I hope you continue to observe that. sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again 
when the love of Christ conquers all things and destroys even death itself. We we'll take a moment in silent prayer. Please join us now in our song of farewell. We'll sing the first three verses. our brother Cass, in the sure certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with them on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Cass in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, Walk With Me, O My Lord. <clears throat>
walk with me, O oh my Lord. Through the darkest night and brightest day, be at thy side, O oh Lord. Hold my hand and guide me on my way.
Are you ready? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Our brother, Dr. Kaz, has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, verse, thir verse 34. Come, you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. I will now bless the grave. O God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, 
Bless this grave. Send your holy angel to watch over it as we bury here the body of our brother. Deliver his soul from every bond of sin and may he rejoice in you with your saints forever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother, Dr. Kaz, from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth. For we are dust, and into dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Dr. Kaz, and we commit his body to the ground earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him. May the Lord be gracious to him. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him his peace. Dear friends, in reverence, let us pray to God the source of all mercies. Lord, you raised the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Dr. Kaz and dry the tears of those who weep. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Dr. Kaz. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery. May their suffering be lessened. May their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them and may they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Loving God, from whom all life proceeds, and by whose hand the dead are raised again, though we are sinners, we wish always, you wish always to hear us. Accept the prayers we offer in sadness for your servant, Dr. Kaz. Deliver his soul from death, number him among your saints, and clothe him with the robe of salvation to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help all of us who mourn for Dr. Kaz and accompany all of us in our time of need. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Remember you are dust, and unto dust you shall return.
To, I'd like to thank everyone for coming and being with us during this difficult time and the tragedy that we just faced today. Um, the man that I'm, about, that I'm paying respect to today was a great father. I can't believe that after a year I'm standing here to do this again. But I couldn't stay in my house and do this from afar. Before I speak to Barkas, I want to say thank you to Marijin for being a great wife, a great companion, a good auntie, firm, strong. And I just want to thank you for being in this journey with my uncle. When I lost my dad last year, I knew that I, I still had many fathers and you was one of them. And we spoke and we spoke and you was a great father to me, a great father to many, a great friend, a great brother. Like my sister Stella said, that I'm yet to meet a man or someone that you haven't helped in, in any way. You was always willing to help. You was always willing to advise. Your wise counsel will be missed. I do remember our last conversation was a long one and the counseling that you gave me stays with me forever. So I'd like to say here, on behalf of the entire family that we're going to miss you and the one thing that we're going to carry on and the one thing that asks all of us here to do if we want to carry on this legacy is to continue to stay united is to continue to stay together and love each other so papa Kass, thank you so much for being a good dad a good friend as i always call you doc and you always say ndoi how are you so doc 
Thanks for being a soldier, for fighting all the way through. May you rest in peace. Rest in peace. Good afternoon, everyone. I was weak the whole week. The, 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 when since this thing started, I could not talk. So today I, did, I just ask God to give me strength to say goodbye to this man who's laying here. Papa Kass is my big brother. My father's son, my mother's son. It was my father. We're calling him Papa Kass. When we were growing, we were still calling him Omer. Omer Kasongo Kabasele. Then, when our father was having some problems, Kas took over, he became our father. And then we had the second mother, Mama Regine. She looked after us, all of us in the family. Today, Cass is laying, Cass is gone. What I want to say that Cass is a human being, was a human being. He was born in the Christian faith. He was baptized, he had his first communion, and then he got married, marriage. And I think on his sick bed, he did reconcile with his God, his Creator. A chance to reconcile with other people. As a human being, Cass was not a saint. I know. Maybe there can be some people who can think that no, he was the wrong person. He did something wrong to them. Unknowingly. I say sorry to all of them, all over the world. I say sorry to Mama Regine if Papa Kaz did something wrong to her unknowingly. I say sorry to the friends. I say sorry to the, his partner in business, to everyone in the world, I say sorry. I would like to say to Mama Mwambui Germain Pinda Mujinga. Mama Kaswa Kutushia Kajika Laribukol Tujiko Tujiba Mine in Zambi Mwena Kulu Jutu Lama Akufe Shabukol in Chitwa Chitwa Munangan. Now I would like to praise my brother in my mother's tongue Kaswa Nawakaba Sele Wa Mwambi Ampungu Mwana Wabuta Wabantu We will muku ankata wa kuakata kapuku. Mwinji la munya wa robu tuku. Wakubita la bibiji kabisangi jinzubu. Kututututu tambani. Nibaji bafo bafo lelu. Baji bashala ni balele bakwa abu. Wewe ujinka shama waku miku na mile. Kubanda banda nsenji ni nkala. Tunya matu wa miku olo tufungila. Kasonga wa muambi. Ni mpinda mujimu. Waya bimtu mkulu wai. Ulala mujita lala. Ungele la Paul Boy. Ungele la Marijan boy. Ungele la Betu Mos Bakafo boy. Uye bim. Je pense que je prends la parole en français. Parce que c'est la langue que je connais mieux. Aujourd'hui, je dois parler de celui qu'on appelait fi fils, père, grand frère, 
Je dois parler de lui au passé. Kabasele Kasongo. Une fierté pour toute une famille. Je viens de me rendre compte que nous avions dans notre famille un ange. Mais peut-être certaines personnes ne s'étaient pas rendues compte de son vivant. Cet homme que vous voyez ici avait l'oreille attentionnée aux problèmes de tout le monde, de sa famille. Moi, je suis, je prends la parole au nom de ses pères. Je suis le petit frère de son père. Il ne m'avait jamais appelé par mon nom. Il appelait toujours papa. Un homme qui avait beaucoup de respect, beaucoup de considération. Perdre une telle personne, c'est vraiment une énorme perte dans une famille comme la nôtre. Papa Casse, vous nous laissez Maman Régine, vous nous laissez Fatou, vous nous laissez Stella, vous nous laissez Jocelyne. Vous étiez un père responsable, un mari aimant. Maman Régine, nous la famille de ton mari, nous te remercions. Cette femme battante a été avec son mari dans tous les moments difficiles de sa vie. Même lorsque son mari était en train de mourir, elle était là, à ses côtés. Que Dieu te garde. Que Dieu soit avec toi. Que Dieu te souvienne de toi. Kassongo. Kassongo Amambi Nimpinda. Kassongo Amambi Nimpinda. Mouna Boutou Amuntu. le dit, comme nous on t'appelait dans notre famille. Lorsque quelqu'un avait besoin de se reposer, avait besoin de trouver solution à ses problèmes, ne fût-ce qu'un coup de fil, il répondait positivement. Même dans les lits de malades, pendant qu'il était malade, il pouvait résoudre les problèmes de certaines personnes de la famille. Pour notre famille. Pour notre famille. Car ce n'était pas seulement de notre famille. Il était l'ami de tout le monde. Il était l'ami de tout le monde. Tout le monde pouvait parler en bien de lui. Que tes bonnes œuvres, que tes bonnes œuvres parlent, que tes bonnes œuvres parlent devant ton Dieu, ton Créateur. Nous savons que tu es mort, mais tu es resté en nous par tes bonnes œuvres. Que Dieu t'accueille. On est de toute notre famille. Je sais que ton père est mort trop jeune, notre grand frère. Il nous a laissé ses enfants. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui, c'est toi qui pars. Hier, c'était Paul. Que Dieu garde les autres qui sont restés. Papa, j'en sois fort. Je sais que tu es celui qui était le plus proche de Papa Casse. Dieu ne va pas t'abandonner. Dieu ne va pas t'abandonner. Toute la famille entière te remercie pour tous les efforts consentis pendant ces moments, ces moments difficiles, ces moments douloureux. Personne ne pouvait s'attendre que l'on pouvait vivre cet événement. J'ai reçu Papa Casse en novembre chez moi à Kinshasa, mais promettant qu'on allait se voir. Mais voilà, je parle devant Papa Casse tout en étant mort. Ton âme repose en paix. Ton âme repose en paix. Un peu, pas
It's going to the Lord. Can we just give a round of applause to celebrate his life? <laughs>
Thank you.